This is another bicycle dynamo test for power gen generation. I have here, this is my bike dynamo, this is a cube mountain bike. It's put upside down just to easily, uh, for easily running the dynamo without really cycling. Here is the dy dynamo. You see here, this is the dynamo, that's an XA one. This should be a better, um, I've replaced it and it's indeed more efficient. Uh, this normally I've connected this, but now I've put these temporary test, test cables to this small test board. And on this test board I have here um, two uh, LEDs, two, uh, two LEDs with a resist of, of 68 ohms. And uh, this, is, this is connected in parallel with the circuit circuitry. This is a bridge, um, uh, a bridge rectifier with four, one and four thousand seven diodes. And I have an el electro electrolytic capacitor of three, th 3300 on over it to st stabilize the voltage and this is a Zeno diode of 5.6 volts um, with the um, and uh, for 5 watts okay this is the test more of the test setup here this is uh, and this the output is connected to a USB socket and the USB socket is now connected to a small vo volt and many ammeter. And here I have two devices for uh, testing. This is a Sony Xperia Z Ultra smartphone. And there's a GoPro Hero 5, another test uh, device. And I will also test the uh, uh, power bank. I have now connected the, the Sony Xperia Z uh, uh, Ultra to the charging circuit. Now I'm going to run the dynamo. Now you see the screen flashes on and the display of the meter is 0.5 amps. And you see the two uh, LEDs, the two LEDs are uh, lighting up. So it's, this, these are two LEDs in a series. And so this is still 0.52 amps for uh, just running freely, charging my cell phone. Okay, now I'll let uh, it run out. Now change it to uh, connect the Go, uh, GoPro. The same, you see 0.5 amps on the GoPro, on the rear of the GoPro, you see on the, you might see on the top left, the red, a very dim red light, this is charge hudging. 0.51 amps, oh the cell phone, okay. 0.551 amps. Uh, uh, Xiaomi uh, 10, 10, uh, 10 AH 10 amp hours uh, power bank. So it jumps to 0.5 amps for charging this one. 0.53. So it's uh, it's about about uh, two and a half uh, watts, I think, the power. Without a LED, it doesn't make much difference. Slightly more. I've measured the, the power consumption of these two LEDs. That's only 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 10 uh, milliamps. That's very low. It's just sufficient to power the rear light of my bike. And finally, I will build all these things in a small uh, film canister. This is another test. I have now put a connected to two fancy uh, coloring, uh, coloring LEDs, RGB LEDs, and I have now tr I'm trying to. And it's connected to a gold cap, so one uh, f ferret. So when I'm now turning on the dynamo, you see that the real light LEDs are going on. I uh, I, I on now, and uh, now when I stop the I turn off the power by stopping the sp spinning the wheel. You see that the, the red uh, LEDs stop lighting, but the colorful, the blinking LEDs are continuing because they draw the power from the gold caps. These are Philips gold caps of one ferret. 
It's just the special capacitors. This is one is such a gold caps. And there's another track, another fancy thing. So I'm going to put this and the colorful, uh, the gold caps and the colorful LED into one film canister and uh, with a USB plug on it. So I just for playing uh, with it for having funny li lights on my bike or 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 anywhere. Converter, uh, charging. This is a finely charging uh, adapter. Here on this one you see the bridge, the, f the, the four diodes with the bridge, and here the, the Zeno diode over it, and this is the, the EC electrolytic capacitor, and this is, an, uh, this is the red LED, two red LEDs, they draw only 10 milliamps at full power, so I let them on, That's that can just uh, function as my... Uh, that's my real light. So that's and I will put this into a into a film canister, into an old-fashioned film canister, and put the wires in it, and then I have the real light and moreover the charging converter, which I will attach to, attach to the. Uh, the okay, it's uh, soldered now. It was a, it was a time lapse of the soldered soldering. You see the LEDs are working. Now I everything I mounted back into the into the film canister. So this is my real light again. And now I put a charger on it, a device on it, which is a power bank. Finally it works, 0.5 amps, but finally it works. Okay, this test is succeeded. Okay, another device, oh, where's the, Go the GoPro? Oh, the GoPro was in use, I have to, I have to switch from a uh, camera. Okay, stop the Go. This is the old converter, and this is the new one. This is the old one with also blue led in it and um, low resistors for uh, so that's why this is consuming consuming more power than this one and there's only 2200 uh, microfarad uh, and this is a 3300 microfarad so i will re put this one into the camera Film. filming it's a power bank Next test. Go. GoPro. That was the soldering iron. It is still hot. Oh. Okay, again. Half an amp with Go GoPro. Okay, finally succeeded. Now I've put just the wiring along the, the bars of the, of the mountain bike. And I put it. I think I put the cables along this bar and this bar, so you you don't see them. And put the USB socket here, so I can put it charge right to the to the front light and any to charge any other. So the the light is still on. The real light here, you can see it. The, the LEDs are still on. It's very dimly glowing because it's because of the of the 3,300 uh, microfarad.
capacitor in it. <laughs> 